It's hot, and this is my third time filming this video. This is the brushes I'm going to use. This is Mor Morphe. Um, but this is the Jaclyn Hill collection. This is J H forty five. This is J H fifty two. I don't know if it's me or the shadows. When I'm trying to blend, they clunk up. Um, well, this one does. Here. So I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm trying to kind of make this kind of look they have. Um, it's kind of like a pinky purple brown look. As I can tell from the picture. So. <laughs> I'm having some difficulties. Okay. Uh, so. I'm not using them wet because they do have oil to them. So I think I'm going to use this different color. I think I'm going to start with this one, this pinky one. Because this one is really getting on my nose. So I think I'm going to save that until the end, like on my end. Alarm going off. Okay. I do have white primer on, so. I can see that they um, tell they have a little bit of oil in them, but I do think they need a little bit more. They're a little on the dry side for what they're trying to aim for. Because I have palettes with a little oil in it. I, I think it needs a little bit more. Okay. This is not normally a palette I use. So it has been a little bit of a challenge for me. That's why I bought it. So. I think the formula is okay. It's, it's not bad formula. I don't. I've been liking it so far. This is the third video I've tried to have filmed. But I don't think this palette is for everybody. Because it is very different. I haven't seen too many reviews on this. I'm waiting on this one girl to do it. But I can tell that this is not the normal like makeup she normally does um so that's probably why she hasn't uploaded her video yet she said she's gonna upload it this weekend but it's already passed it's wednesday <laughs> so yeah so i don't know i think she's having trouble with the palette i think and maybe not upload it at all Okay, that's a very bright pink. I think it's like brighter than I wanted it to be. Because <laughs> this is a very nude look they have. But I may have to do my own version. I'm going to mix this, these colors, blend them a little bit. And my still wants to crease a little bit, but I'm using a lighter color, so hopefully it'll be fine. I'll probably be using this palette like every day. Um, but I do think it's a good palette. It just, I think other people could have be having difficulties with this palette. That, yeah, you know, it's different than anything like on the market. And for that reason, it, people could have be having difficulties to use it. But I'm making it work. It's way more colorful than this. But, oh well. I'm someone that goes for the color a lot. So, 
the next palette, next two palettes that I have is like pinky nudes, and I think I will do better with that. Um, than this one, it's a lot of orange in this one. Um, more than I thought it was, but I wouldn't say it's a horrible palette. I wouldn't say it's horrible, but some of the shades I would use wet. Okay, I'm gonna use this like this purple here. When you build up the color, sometimes, well, you're building it up, it clunks in one space. This one here. That's the only one I have seen that does that. So. But it is a pretty color. But use this kind of lightly. Or use it wet. They are pigmented and they can blend. They all can blend. But it, this one just has a little bit of difficulty. That's why I'm saving this into the end. So. And put that on the end. Yeah, no, people are creating like completely nude looks in this palette. Um. I don't know, I'm having trouble doing that with this one. Because there is so much orange. So I'm guessing I'm just going for the color looks. Okay. I'll be out there in a second. My baby is awake. Blend that upward. And do a halo. Smooth that out. This color can look kind of grungy, but I'm trying to make sure it doesn't. I just blend it out. Like creasing in one area. Okay. I think this is okay for now, so. Oh yeah. And of course it looks works better on the side. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to get a little halo going with the colors. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit I'm gonna do a very, very light look. And this is a sticky primer. So, I'm going to put it on my Technic sponge here. Make sure I get underneath my eyes. This has a pinky undertone to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm trying to get it on this side too. Okay. 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 Okay, um hope she's not crying. Okay, I'm gonna take um my corrector here and it's go under my eyes. In my cheeks, cause that's my problem areas. Let's go my legs a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna bring in my much and why not? And then I'm going to take a little bit of finishing powder with my e.l.f. brush. This is my e.l.f. Because I'm going to be a sweaty mess today and I know it. Okay, make sure that's good. 
Okay. And then I'm going to take this palette here. And then I'm going to take my finger, give it this color, kind of flush it out a little bit upward. Well, too much. Okay. Okay. Then do it upward. Okay. And I'm going to take um, this light color here. My nose looks so red. Okay. And then I'm going to go over it again with some finishing powder. Trying to make it that <laughs> cracker did not. Hmm. Okay. Did not stick with shit. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna have to go with my eyes again, a little bit on my nose. Spot there. It's the summer and it's getting hot. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna. I did watch the Kylie video, like her makeup artist or whatever. So I'm gonna do what he did. Push these up a little bit. He said, do that. So I'm just what I'm doing. Done. Okay, I'm going to go in with this. This stop. Okay. What do you mean I can do this though? Okay. I didn't make me I need to practice that a little bit. But anyway, um I'm not gonna find the colors I need here. Um so I'm gonna have to go to a different palette for here. Two my eyebrows look jacked up. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go here and get this coat on my brush. That worked very well. Okay. This is a Morphe palette. I do like Morphe. Sometimes they disappoint me. And I'm taking way too long. Ah, oh, I went way too long. Yeah, some of it got down there. So I went way too deep in that pan. Okay, I just blended it out a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of something in here. I think I'm gonna take this one. And just go over it. And then I'll go here. So. Okay. I think this is okay. 
Okay, I'm going to go in this palette again, and I'm going to do my under eyes. Um, with this, this beautiful pink here, this bright pink. But I'm going to kind of mood it, like they did, they're like they do in here. I can see pink underneath their eyes. Hurts that they're not closing their eyes. Um, trying to see what they actually have. And of course, it's heavily added. I wish I could see their eyes completely. So, but this is <laughs> this is Amanda's best for this palette. Okay, I'm gonna flush that out a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, um, cause there is so much orange. It's like orange with like, it's like undertone oranges in here, with mixed with browns. Okay. This won't flush out, so I need to add a little bit more to the side. Make sure it's, like, light on there. Okay. It is partially my skin, so I may have any having difficulties, because it's the summer, and I don't know, I think it's, like, 100 degrees outside. It's kind of cooler in here, but I'm still, the humidity, it's still affecting my skin. <laughs> Something always has to happen when I get a good opportunity for a palette. It's like... Why? <laughs> why? But anyway... Um... Why has to be summer days when I'm working on this palette? And why do I have to move when I'm working on this palette? I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna start on my lips. Um... With another shade I didn't use yet. Okay. I think I use this one. These do roll up if you didn't see my other videos. Okay. I think I used this one. Okay. I wish these were named. Did I use this one? No. Okay. But I need to get used to putting on makeup. And summer. So my routine may be changing up over the summer when I figure it out. So what my skin is gonna do. Okay. So this is it. This is my eye look. Hopefully this feels like a mess, but Anyway, hopefully you learned something here, and, and hopefully this is okay. So, this is the look. This is the lips. Okay. Um, I still am not happy. I'm still not happy. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of... Where's my brush? A little bit of this right here. And go in the corner. But overall, it looks nice. It took three times filming this to get it, but I got it. But it's not a totally nude look. It's kind of dark and colorful. But I do have nude palettes. I do. I am really good at working those. But this this palette is very different than anything that I have tried before. But I think that's a good thing. New experiences are good. Um, if you're a YouTuber and you're reviewing this palette, um, I would like to see what looks you create with this palette. Because this palette is very different. I think I will be going probably to this palette for this pink here. This pink is really nice. And this white. And doing a, or a orange look. Because I think this is a really great orange palette. 
I'm not. I think I'm pretty satisfied with it overall. It's not bad, but it is very different. And I think I do need to work with it more off camera. And maybe, um, maybe in like a couple of weeks, I'll show you what I come up with it. When, what looks like came <laughs> out with. Sorry, but it's pretty okay. It's very beautiful packaging. But I do love purple, but I think the packaging should have been like orange. Like beautiful orange. So I think this is a very orange palette. But anyway. Oh, I'm very happy with this. We are friends now. I just wish my skin would cooperate and things would stick to my skin. But I may need to change my routine, try my products with my skin because it is the summer. But anyway, um, I have dry skin to normal skin. So um, if you can suggest anything I should try um, with my skin, with the corrector and foundation, setting powders, whatever, that would be much appreciated. And thank you for watching.